The ASAM criteria do not purport to set a medical or legal standard of care and may not encompass all of the levels of service options that may be available in a changing healthcare field. Therefore, the ASIM criteria presented and discussed may not be wholly relevant to all levels and modalities of care, such as forensic and treatment facilities, custodial care providers, or addiction treatment programs that address concomitant developmental disability disorders, or to external judgments such as those made by legal or regulatory entities concerning the appropriateness of patient admission into various levels of care. The ASAM criteria are designed to serve as a resource for general mental health and addiction treatment clinicians and counselors, but are not intended to substitute for their independent clinical judgment based on the particular facts and circumstances presented by individual patients. The structure of the course will be a combination of video, audio, and reading material followed by testing material between modules to test your level of understanding. It won't be hard if you're paying attention, so make sure you do that. The ASAN criteria. Well, it's based on many developments. How do you say? The best way to say it would be the ASAN criteria are clinical guides designed by the American Society of Addiction Medicine to improve assessment and outcomes-driven treatment and recovery services. It is also used to match patients to appropriate types and levels of care. In general, the purpose of the ASAN criteria is to enhance the use of multidimensional assessments to develop patient-centered service plans and to guide clinician-centered counselors and case managers in making objective decisions about patient admission, continuing care, and transfer discharge for various levels of care for addictive, substance-related, and co-occurring conditions. The course itself, you know, will have a focus, will give you the emphasis that you need to do the work, especially we have to implement them into the assessments, especially with someone who presents with a addiction diagnosis. We want the appropriate level of care, whether it's outpatient therapy, whether it's SAOP or SACOT, whether it's CST or ACT, or whether it's detox or long-term inpatient treatment. This particular course is brought to you by Morden Therapy, located at 201 West Main Street, Suite 316, Durham, North Carolina, 27701. We are a facility based on training and offering support for clinicians in the field. You can read more about us or learn more about us at www.mordentherapy.org. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the More Than Therapy podcast. That's the More Than Therapy podcast, giving you information regarding different modalities, different people in their fields of study, as also wellness tools to help you and the people that you work with in the field of mental health and addictions. And that's the More Than Therapy podcast. The content modules are as follows. We're going to talk about the ASAM criteria, then and now the applications of such, intake and assessment, matching multidimensional severity and level of function with type and intensity of care, service planning and placement, addressing withdrawal management and intoxication management. We'll also talk about level of care placement. And then we'll move into a special topic, application to the adult special populations and understanding the emerging understandings of addiction. After each content module, you will have multiple choice questions, fill in the blank questions, true or false questions, and more in order to gauge your understanding of the material discussed. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the facilitator of this online trainer, Mr. Felipe Blue. 
LCAS CSI.